Welcome back to Let's Play Might and Magic 7, episode 19. Syndrome here with Breaking Stream. Today I'm going to be taking care of the Archdruid promotion quest. Uh, so I've returned to the Barrow Downs, which it has been quite a while since we've been to. Um, I have learned to navigate these a little bit better than previously, so I'm just going to zip over to the tomb and then proceed on with the game. Okay, here I am back in the tomb area where we need to return Zokar the Fourth Skull. I believe this is his tomb. Yep, and so that should be taken care of. So now we have a few quests to turn in, two in Harmondale and one in the Tularian Forest. So let's teleport back to town. Now first we'll turn in the perfect bow for the archer promotion quest. And that actually returns the bow to us. Let's see if that's Wow, yeah, that's uh that's a pretty significant upgrade. Um I'll, yeah, I'll go ahead and put that on her and then just replace that. Okay, so everybody got a little bit of an upgrade out of that. Next, I'll head over to Bartholomew Hume and turn in the second monk promotion quest. Now, between videos, I did do a little bit of training. I went to the Stone City and trained the knight in Spear Grandmastery. And I also came here to Harmondale and trained her in Sword Grandmaster. So both of those combined added 20 points to her AC, which is a nice little boost. Next up, we'll be heading to the Tularian Forest. And I believe that the Druid Trainer is over near the stables, so let's just head over there really quick. Okay, now we didn't have any of those classes in our party, but uh, resulted in a good amount of experience, so I'm pleased with that. Okay, I think that our next trip is going to take us to Mount Nihon. Um We're finally going to take care of retrieving Halder's remains for his brother. Um, this quest takes us into the maze, which is a pretty difficult little area. It's filled with, let's see, hydras and minotaurs in the earlier portions. And then I believe that there might also be warlocks in the cave portion of it. So if I recall correctly, it's up in the hills over in this area. It should show up as a sort of dark spot on the minimap. I don't recall if I got this obelisk, but it never hurts to just do it again. There it is. Okay, so Minotaurs, at least the highest tier of them, can instantly kill our party members, so I'm going to be using sort of the same strategy that I did in the Titan Stronghold. First, let me just make sure that all of my buffs are active. Let's see. I have plenty of time and everything. Um, regeneration is not active, so let's go ahead and put that up. Oh, if only this was a group spell. And for good measure, I'll also toss up a protection for magic. Okay, 
So Minotaur, Minotaur Lords are pretty nasty enemies, but nothing that we can't handle outside of the occasional instant kill, which they'll cause. Here we're coming into the Hydras. Hydras aren't too bad. Low defense on them, so they, they fall over pretty well. There's an instant kill. I am going to go ahead and drop a Lloyd's Beacon. So since I don't have a Druid in the party, coming across Rejuvenation Potions is going to be a little bit more difficult than I'd like, so I, I don't want to waste too many Divine Intervention without having a surplus of those potions. Now, we have two objectives in being down here. First is to retrieve Halder's remains for that quest of Naya. But the second is to retrieve the third statue, which we need for another quest. I believe that the Angel statue can be found in the cave portion of this zone, and we put that on a shrine in the Prakadan Desert. So Hydras, similar to Dragons, will always drop an item. It's just, it's not at that same level of power, so they're, they're not quite as good for loot. Which makes sense, since they're also much weaker and far easier to kill. Ah, now that is not ideal. So... With the sorcerer dead, we're going to have to walk out down this mountainous terrain and back to town, where the sorcerer will be turned into a zombie when we resurrect him, but then we'll be able to go back to Harmondale and get him fully revived. But at least we have the uh, Featherfall buff up, so... This won't be as bad as it could be. I'm going to turn it in double speed mode to speed this up a bit. Unfortunately, I think that the church is actually going to be closed right now, so we might have to rest a couple of hours. You need medical attention. Oof, 3500 That's a steep price to be turned into a zombie. You need medical Thankfully, unzombification is rather cheap. Alright, we will recall back into maze. Have to recast Torchlight. Okay, we're going to get out of here once again. 
propelled him down and the sorcerer almost dead, that, uh, that became a little bit of a tricky situation. The Lloyd's Beacon spell really kind of breaks the game, just because it allows you to both teleport right back to your town, heal up, and then come back exactly where you left from. Now that's just becoming a little bit ridiculous. Um, I will go ahead and use Divine Intervention here. I'm a little bit sick of going back to town. Now that should be the most difficult fight down here, so I expect that we should be fine going forward. At least, as fine as you can be with enemies that will randomly just outright kill you. Okay, here I'm going to use the Shared Life spell just to bring our Sorcerer back up to full quickly. It's a nice way of evenly distributing the hit points out amongst the party, which helps since every party member is able to regain life through their vampiric attacks. I just noticed on the minimap that this looks like it's a hollow pillar, so I was just checking around there to see if there was a secret door, and there was. Got it. A little bit of gold here, Figures. some decent enough items, but nothing, Figures. nothing no really room. special. There's no, no space. There's no room. There's no room. I don't seem to have run out of room already. There's no space. Good as new. Hey, the place is filled. Just one broken item, so nothing too bad. It might be useful. Okay, let's just take a look at our map here and see if we can find a path going forward. Looks like we just need to go up here and then hang a left at the end. Looks like we are already on this path, but uh, we recalled out. This dungeon has a lot of little nooks that sometimes contain treasure chests, so I want to be sure to check all of them to make sure I don't leave money just lying around. Now, as of last episode, we were pretty much broke, but we're already back up to, looks like, 175,000 gold. Okay, this ahead is the entrance to the cavernous area, which I mentioned before. So I'm gonna try and clear out some of the other area. Oh! 
Okay. That... That was not a good situation. That all happened very quickly. Huh, so it looks like I'm going to be hoofing it back to town on foot again. Yeah, I think I've made the decision that I'm never going to play this game again without having a cleric in the party. Taking the paladin was definitely a mistake. You get just too much utility out of having Grandmaster protect you from magic. And to make it even better, it looks like haste has expired, so she is now tired. Ultimately, she might just be tired because we probably haven't slept in several days. Let's see. Well, it looks like haste has expired, so that was from haste wearing off. Uh, most of my buffs are going to last another five days, so I don't think I'll need to recast those anytime soon. Protection from magic will wear off in about an hour, so I'll go ahead and recast that. Syndrome is getting a little bit up in years, so. I've never been entirely sure if age actually affects anything in this game. I assume that at a certain point it would, but I can't imagine that they would permanently kill a character. I can't believe it! Around one of these corners, we should find the chest that has the remains of uh, Holder. So be it. Hmm. 
Now, I don't believe I missed any areas, so I'm just going to have to proceed back into the caves. Maybe, maybe it is back there, actually. That should be the last of the Minotaur, so we shouldn't have to deal with anybody causing instant death anymore. From here on out, it should be just hydras and sorceresses. And with our protection spells up, um, neither of those is really cause for much concern. Here we have the angel statue, so Big now goodness. it's just a matter of finding Halder's remains, which, you know, I was fairly certain that they were in the maze portion of this zone, but I think that we hit everything that that was out there, so we shall see. Was that supposed to hurt? Was that supposed to hurt? Well, that takes care of that. I guess there were a few Minotaur left, but hopefully we don't get horribly unlucky here. I can't believe it! Well, our inventory has gotten to the point where we no longer, long, no longer even have space for a no belt, room. so... There's no room. Has to be some Thomas. That, that seems inexpensive. I think I got it. Okay, so here are all those remains. So we can head out now, but we're so close to the end, I might as well just wrap up the last couple of enemies. Some good stuff that we're going to have to oh. leave behind here, but um, 
I mean, at this point, there is not a ton left for us to spend up money on anyway. Ow. Was that supposed to hurt? Was that supposed Ow. to hurt? Hmm. It might be useful. Was that supposed to hurt? Ow! Ow! Fat, fat, bad mama jamma! Oh. Was that supposed to hurt? Got one last enemy. Two. And the maze is officially clear. So I'll go ahead and teleport back to Mountain Hunt and turn in this quest. I believe that it's just up the hill over here. As expected, uh, this Dusk did not really want his remains for any good purpose. Um, he's going to be brought back as a lich, but uh, eh, that's that's his business, not ours. Alright, I think that this is a good place to end this video, so I will pick it up next time when I go to place those statues on their pedestals and finish up another quest. Thanks for watching.